of the two internal combustion engines we have completed auto engine or we can say petrol engine now in this tutorial we will consider about diesel engine in case of petrol engine making of high temperature by adiabatic compression was not possible because inflammable mixture ignites spontaneously which resulted explosion this problem was solved by diesel engine now we will see about suction stroke in this suction stroke inlet valve is opened and fuel injector or fe as well as outlet valve o are closed piston p is moved downward to suck air into the cylinder at atmospheric pressure volume of air changes to v1 curve ea in figure shown at right hand side this is about the suction stroke this curve ea now we say about compression stroke all the valves are closed piston moved in the upward direction and compresses air adiabatically to about 1 by 17th of original volume volume changes from v1 to v2 as you can say uh, see into the right hand diagram temperature increases to about 1000 degree centigrade pressure also rises to 40 atmospheric this is shown with the curve ab in this diagram at right hand side now we will see how fuel injector valve works fuel injector valve if it is now open at the same time inlet valve as well as outlet valve are closed and oil is being sprayed into cylinder as soon as oil gets sprayed immediately oil is sprayed into cylinder burns pressure is maintained constant volume changes from v2 to v3 v2 to v3 this is shown bc temperature rises from t2 to t3 t2 to t3 which is about 2000 degree centigrade this is shown with curve bc in this diagram now see at the left hand side diagram oil supplement is stopped then mixture of oil and air expands adiabatically volume increases from v3 to v1 and temperature decreases from t3 to t4 this is shown with the curve cd pressure also decreases air now at point d this point d valve o is open pressure reaches to atmospheric pressure heat is given up and temperature decreases from t4 to t1 volume remains constant it is shown with the curve da valve i and fuel injector valve are closed and valve o is only open mixture of burnt fuel that is oil and air is thrown out from cylinder so it is shown with curve ae in this diagram now we will see about efficiency of diesel engine suppose 1 gram mole of mixture is used if cp is molar specific heat at constant pressure then heat taken during bc see in this diagram this bc is q1 is equal to 1 into cp into bracket t3 minus t2 this is suppose equation 1 if cp molar specific heat of air at constant volume then heat given during da this da is q2 and which is equal to 1 into cv into bracket t4 minus t1 this is suppose equation 2 so divide this equation 2 by divide equation 1 we get q2 by q1 is equal to cv by cp into t4 minus t1 divided by t3 minus t2 and we know gamma is equal to cp divided by cv and from this 1 upon gamma into t4 minus t1 divided by t3 minus t2 this is suppose equation 3 we know efficiency g eta is equal to 1 minus q2 by q1 so from this this equation 4 is given here let r1 is adiabatic compression ratio which is v1 divided by v2 
and E is combustion ratio or fuel cutoff ratio which is given V3 by V2 R2 is adiabatic expansion ratio which is given by ratio with V1 to V3 then E is equal to R1 by R2 is equal to V3 by V2 since AB in adiabatic since AB you can see AB this AB curve in adiabatic we get T1 V1 raised to gamma minus 1 is equal to T2 V2 raised to gamma minus 1 this is suppose equation 5 from this T1 is equal to T2 into bracket V2 by V1 raised to gamma minus 1 this is suppose equation C since BC is the same pressure see this BC curve T3 divided by V3 is equal to T2 divided by V2 therefore equation 7 from this T3 is equal to T2 into bracket V3 by V2 which is equal to T2 into E this is suppose equation 8 since CD is an adiabatic this CD adiabatic therefore T4 V4 raised to gamma minus 1 is equal to T3 V3 raised to gamma minus 1 this is suppose equation 9 but V4 is equal to V1 therefore T4 is equal to T3 into bracket V3 by V1 and which is equal to T3 into bracket V3 divided by V2 into V2 divided by V1 raised to gamma minus 1 which is equal to T3 into bracket V3 by V2 raised to gamma minus 1 into bracket V2 by V1 raised to gamma minus 1 since BC is at same pressure T3 by V3 is equal to T2 by V2 so this is suppose equation 11 so from this T3 is equal to T2 into bracket V3 by V2 which is equal to T2 E this is equation 20. Since CD is an adiabatic, therefore T4 V4 is equal to T3 V3 raised to gamma minus 1. But V4 is equal to V1, therefore T4 is equal to T3 into bracket V3 by V1 raised to gamma minus 1 is equal to T3 into E raised to gamma minus 1 into bracket 1 by R1 raised to gamma minus 1. Therefore, T4 is equal to T2 into E into E raised to gamma minus 1 into bracket 1 by R1 raised to gamma minus 1. This is equation 50. E is equal to T2 into E raised to gamma into bracket 1 by R1 raised to gamma minus 1. You can see there is no T4 mentioned, uh, there is no V4 mentioned separately anywhere because V1 is equal to v, V4, they are overlap. That is why only V1 is written here and not V4. So V4 is equal to V1. You can see V4 is equal to V1. Both are overlap. That is why only V1 is written here. So from this T, uh, T uh, we, uh, is equal to T2 into E raised to gamma into bracket 1 by R1 raised to gamma minus 1. This is suppose equation 16. So from this equation, eta is equal to 1 minus 1 by gamma T4 minus T1 divided by T3 minus T2, therefore eta is equal to this, suppose equation 17, so from equation eta is equal to this, and finally, after rearranging the terms, we will get this final equation, that is the efficiency of diesel engine. So this is about the efficiency of diesel engine, and now you can see, this is about animated diesel engine, how it works. All the four strokes are shown in this animated diesel engine animation.